Okay, now the mic is on. Welcome back, everybody. Everybody's gone. Everybody's gone. Everybody's gone. Now you're all here. I'm gonna try and play Lollipop uh, Guild. What is this game? Lollipop. Yeah, the Lollipop Guild. The Lollipop Guild. Where's the headphones? Here's the headphones. So I can hear the game. Um, Jay's gonna play Lollipop Chainsaw. Hold on, I need to update. Until I get bored. Also, uh, Dick Kilroy with the all caps. We're kind of done with the all caps thing. So, give it a break with the all caps thing. Let's, uh, let me update the thing here. Uh, what are we playing? Lollipop. Chainmail. Chainmail. For PS3. All right. Lollipop Chainsaw. Great, here it is. I don't know what... I'm not signing into no PlayStation Network. Don't do that. Get I just out wanna... of there. Get out of there. It's a trap. Don't do it. I just want to stab things. Yep. That is what you want to do. Have you ever played this game, Jack? I've never played this game. Okay. Um, this... This game was written by James Gunn. That's written by James Gunn. literally the only thing I know about it. And I believe this is a Suda51 game. I don't know what that means. Okay. Let me, let me double check that. Oh, difficulty. Normal. I will... <laughs> <laughs> no, Chase. Not I, a... You can't you get the full effect when you play normal. <laughs> you won't get the full effect if you play normal. Right. I believe this is a Suda51 game. He's he's Rich. Is this a Suda51? Yeah. Yeah. So he's he's a uh, well res or was well respected in the gaming world. He did a uh, Suda51. Say... Did No More Heroes. That that one. Oh, game. okay. And he did some other. You say was, huh? Well, his his latest one got some got some flack. I start from the stop start. Where's the start? Oh, um, from parking. I think was the start parking. Okay. Start this stage. Yes, I will start this stage. Wait, Jay. Wait. What? Oh no, you're already doing. No, something. I can. It, it, I, there's always time for candy corn. Here, these, this is the last of it. Oh, Please. I will take half of them. Okay. How's that sound? That sounds great. All right. Enjoy. Sorry, everybody. Else. <clears throat> Okay, what am I doing here? Um, You're just gonna fight zombies. Well, okay. Well, so that's lollipop or chainsaw or whoever that is. It's it's a beat em up. How do I play? Yeah, yeah. He didn't kill her. Well, you have to wait. Now, this looks like a load. This screen. is a load screen. Yeah. But I want to play it now. Well, it, the, the graphics are so intense. They have to ramp up. They have to rev them up. Uh, I did update the title on Twitch. The vi the video Ooh. games on my iPhone load faster than this. <laughs> Get it together, PlayStation. <laughs> it's still loading. Oh, there well, we go. It takes a San while. Romero High School. Oh, I get it. Do you? Okay, broadcast update successfully. So if you refresh your screen now, it should say that we're playing Lollipop Chainsaw. So this is just a dumb high school cheerleader, cheerleader that has to fight zombies? Yeah. That's basically the game? She she is a zombie hunter. She fights zombies. It's okay. Her thing. Oh, so she's not a dumb cheerleader. She's she's perky. Okay. She's bubbly, but she's not dumb. Okay. Oh, my lord. Oh, jeez. Oh, my lord. This looks great. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. It's too bad you're not doing any of this. Uh, yeah, I would love to actually be doing these moves. <laughs> you can do some of those moves. Okay. You can do the jump over their head and... and Cut them from underneath. Mm -hmm. You get more moves as the game goes on. You kind okay. Of earn points, and you can use those points to unlock different moves. <laughs> <laughs> What's whoop 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 whoop? I heard that. Yeah, we're we're we're, ch we're chugging a little this bit. This stage should tell you the basics of how to play. What buttons do what? Uh, yes, Jay knows that James Gunn wrote this game. <laughs> I'm not sleeping. Are you using the pad? It's the it's the other one. Here. What? Yeah. Oh, I should be using this. Yeah, you're in the pause menu now. What? How did this happen? Oh my God, here How did this happen? I just want to 
I just want to kill zombies. There you go. Now, now you can kill zombies. Okay, so there's how I move. That's how I swipe. Yeah, and there's melee moves. Jump. You can stun. You can stun a zombie with a melee move, uh, and then the chainsaw will like instantly Jesse. kill it. It'll decapitate okay. it. Jesse. What? What is this telling me to do? You want to move the chainsaw? You're cutting the door open. I am. Yes. Am I doing this? Yes. I'm not doing this. I mean, you, you have to hit the down arrow to do it. What? Down arrow? <laughs> well, not the down arrow, the oh, down, God. down on the stick. How did you pause it? I don't know. <laughs> Fuck this. I'm done with this game already. Oh. I just want to stab things. What button do you press, Rich? How do I get out of this? Here, here. This, this or button just... here. Oh, okay. The square button this is the one you have to hit. Okay. <laughs> Shit. This is way too complicated. <laughs> God. I just want to kill zombies. <sighs> Use the chainsaw button, Jade. They got stars over their head, they're stunned. What? I'm hitting the button! I'm hitting the goddamn button! Faster. There we go. <laughs> Oh my god. Why is, is nothing <laughs> happening? Oh, people are calling you Grandpa Jay. <laughs> it's not my fault the gameplay sucks. It's true. It's so true. Hey, I... Somebody I've... said getting Jay to play is like handing a World War II vet the controller. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, look at that guy. <laughs> did you do it? I don't know. I did something. Are you doing it? You have a chainsaw. Is your name Lollipop? She likes lollipops. Her name is Juliet. Oh, okay. She likes lollipops and she has a chainsaw. Yes. Okay. All right. No, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Her chainsaw has a built-in phone. What? Her chainsaw has a phone. She has a chainsaw phone. What is this game called? Lollipop Chainsaw. Oh. Where am I supposed to go? Back this way? No. <laughs> Don't go in that fire. Go down here, I guess. Yes. This is why you didn't go. Whoa. Oh, okay. You're doing great, Jay. <laughs> You're doing great. Jay, you need to use your lion brain. He's, he's using his crocodile. Don't use your crocodile brain. There's nothing happening here. Yeah, well. gonna go walk down there. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, back in Jay's day, uh -oh. all you had to do was pogo jump on bad guys to kill them. It's true! <laughs> I'm used to two buttons. Yeah. Now he's got four. <laughs> well, I, f I feel like I'm hitting buttons and it's not doing what it did before. This is a nightmare. Oh no, Jay, they're saying you're doing so bad you're making me look good. <laughs> Wow, that's embarrassing. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> try, try different button combinations. She might do different moves. That's what I'm kind of trying to do, but everything just makes my hands turn into pom-poms. <laughs> it's junk. Did Jay just wake up from 1942 or something? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that made me laugh. I think you're doing fine. I... Why did... Nah. Oh, hey, that's good. Yeah. I feel like... Okay, that's the jump button. Yeah. That's the pom-pom button. The pom-pom button, right. I, I'm hitting these buttons, and everything is just pom-poms and jumping. Yeah. That will? Oh, yeah, you're right. Jay needs to find a fire flower or a tanuki feather, and then he'll be fine. <laughs> I don't know what any of these things mean. Super Mario. Fire flower. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Rich has just taken the controller from me, and I I'm guess he's trying decided to... I'm trying to... to find the menu to show you what, what kind of moves you can do, but... Oh. That's the, I, that's I, the show how many I know there's a menu you know. in here somewhere. I guess I don't have many unlocked right now. I can find uh, a few. Okay. Like like uh like triangle triangle X. Yeah. Like that'll do us 
That Stop showing thing. the lollipop menu. We know how many lollipops you have. Five out of five. Hey, Jay's supposed to be playing. Right. <laughs> Rich, Rich is the ultimate backseat gamer. Hey, look, I'm going to get a lollipop. Yay! Got a lollipop. You, you did can, it! You can eat a lollipop and that'll restore health. Oh, they're asking if this is your favorite Zelda game. <laughs> it's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting coins. Oh, that's good. That's like Mario. Yeah. yeah, yeah there you go. This this is a rip off of Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just coins. You break things and coins come out. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. They say, uh, the Martha Washington says, I I never seen anyone get defeated by the menu. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm hmm Can I do anything? Uh oh. Oh no. It doesn't help that the sound seems to be not in sync with the video. I don't know if that's related to the stream or what, but... Oh, I did something! Look what I did! Look what I did! If you want. It's... we can hear it. Oh, oh. I don't even need these? No, you don't need Oh, okay. Whoa! Get that guy! You found, you found one of the moves, I'm experimenting Jay. with combo moves. You're there you go! It. You're doing it! It's working! Get that bus! Get yeah, what? It's Fuck a that bus! bus. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Get those zombies! <laughs> Try the move! Try the move you learned! <laughs> I don't I already forgot how I did it. Jeez. Try spinning! That's, that's a good a that's trick. a good trick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jessie will not tell you her favorite movie until you spell her name right. <laughs> That's very true. And even then, I probably still won't. Yeah, there you go. Every movie is my favorite. <laughs> Jay's starting to get a groove on. I mean, yeah, I'm just I'm not used to the PlayStation controllers because I don't think I've ever played one before. That's probably true. Oh, you can teach an old J new trick. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Crunchy's cream. Crunch. I just decapitated that guy. Ice cream. Crunch cream. is creamy. Yeah. Someone is asking me what the history. Uh, someone said, Jack, what's the history of Milwaukee? <laughs> what? Well, there were people, and they moved here, mm -hmm. and it's a city. You know what? They I can, lived here. I can tell you why we're called the Cream City. Yeah. Do you guys know uh, why we're I called the Cream City? I don't think I know that. Actually. It's the color of the stones they used to build most of the buildings. Exactly. The cream it's, color. It's our bricks. We have yeah. very special cream-colored bricks, and we used to manufacture them way back in the day. And so, a lot of our older buildings are this lovely cream-colored bricks, and that's why we're called the Cream City. Not, not having anything to do with milk or cheese or cream or anything. No. It's because of the bricks. Cream City bricks. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Yeah. That's the history of Milwaukee. That's all of it. That's it. And then there's beer and stuff for them. Yeah. Like, whatever. Uh, Jack Rich, if you had to give one advice to an aspiring game designer, what would it be? Rich? I don't know. Make a game. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that's what advice I would give too. Make yeah. a game. It would be great. <laughs> it would be great. <laughs> that's it. Make a game and have everybody shit on it because people are horrible assholes. <laughs> like us. Uh, the the advice I can give you is that of uh, of a video producer, which which is make something that you would enjoy. That's all yeah. I do. I make stuff I like. And hopefully other people like it too, or say horrible things on YouTube. You know, either way. We try to make ourselves laugh. Exactly. I don't. We do. you, you don't? No. What do you do? No. <laughs> yeah. You jump over their heads, like that leapfrog thing, and use the chainsaw. You, you'll do that, like jump over them and bring the chainsaw up them too. Oh. And that's always fun. Wait, what? I didn't hear a word you said. Never mind. I didn't hear a word you said. 
or I'm busy playing, Rich. This <laughs> <laughs> yeah. is my glasses. <sighs> oh, that's a better question. If we had to give advice to an aspiring city designer, what would it be? You spring colored bricks. <laughs> Here's what I would say. Lay That's out, been done before. Lay out your That's streets. That's the legend of Zelda, of, of cities. Uh, the, the what? I don't know. I was trying to make a joke about <sighs> the Zelda stuff earlier, but oh. I'm distracted because I'm trying to kill zombies. Uh, Wh streets, oh no! Uh, that guy's dead. Make your streets in a grid-like pattern, because we got some fucked up streets here in Milwaukee oh, that end on angles, and they're not they're not this zombie now, Jack. Perfect grid pattern. Well, who cares? I'll just kill him then. There you go. He's stronger than normal zombie because he's fresh. Oh, oh I is see. Is that how it works? Yeah. That's why he's red. By the way, I, I'm i going to say this. Uh, when does the James Gunn happen? Yeah, this is just killing zombies. Yeah. You guys could skip the cutscenes. I haven't even gotten to a cutscene. How did I skip anything? There's the one for the opening game that we just never got. We can go to the main menu at some point and wait for it to just play on its own. But there's like a whole intro thing for the, the game. Oh my god, where am I? Oh. You're gonna need to use a lollipop, Jack. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. How do you use a lollipop? Hit the start, hit the start button. Uh, let's see, where's it at? Where's it at? Um, see, you don't know either. I don't remember. I'd spend. It's the restart button. <laughs> <laughs> Just start the game over. <laughs> Is there a give up button? Here we go. I just don't. Well, I just want to jump on mushrooms and collect coins. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Where's it at? Damn it! All right, now yeah, I don't know where it can be. This is terrible. So then, I'm just, just going to take the game away from me. Oh, there we go. There we go. Use. All right, here you go. Now, how do I get back? This circle button. <laughs> Jesus. Uh... I tried to make you not die, Jay. Don't no, that's play. good. No, you take care, Rich. Rich, what do you think uh, are about the alien isolation? Whoa, deals? what just happened? Oh Sparkle my god! Sparkle honey, three zombies? I don't know what this means. What did you do? Oh, you're using your your little special meter gauge thing. Oh, great. You apparently accidentally hit the button that did that. Okay. But it wasn't a bad time to hit that button. Sure. So. I Well, that's why I did it. On purpose. Whoa. Now you found the button to lock on. They did? Yeah, that's why the circle's over that one. It targets a specific zombie. Uh, oh my lord. Oh, oh no. god damn it. You don't want to hit cancel, Jay. It's the circle button. Why does that pop up? You're hitting the button that does it, apparently. Something you're doing is hitting that button. I'm. Uh, I hate this. This is too many buttons. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm doing. It looks like you know what you're doing. Well, that's good. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Uh -oh. Zombies? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Rich, does this game have kill three? No, it doesn't have Kill Freak. <laughs> it's, got, it's got kind of something like that. Did you know that real got, games have Kill Freak? It's got something called Sparkle Hunting. <laughs> sparkle Hunting? Sparkle Hunting. Great. You, you, you kill, like... The more zombies you can kill in one blow, the more points you get. Oh, okay. She's taking a phone call? Yeah. She's got a phone on her chainsaw. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's in the chainsaw. Uh-huh. Um, that was it? That was the story? A phone call? That was the story. <laughs> the story, the story. The I, I hate cutscenes. Where are the cutscenes? Pop the balloons. Oh, I, oh. I hate cutscenes, um, but Jay only wanted to play this for the James Gunn story. Yeah, there's no James Gunny type All stuff right. in this. So I'm thinking They're of Jay. Between levels. Okay. The character's name is Juliet, and that might be a connection to Tromeo well, we, and we, you missed. You did miss the intro. So there was an intro. 
Uh, Animus Primal says, uh, asks, Jack, I have a question about patching in a Skype call from Canada li- into a live stream. Can you help me with that? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> I want to say. Is the answer. It was too much. It was too much for, for my laptop to handle. Maybe when I have my big computer in here, we can handle it better. Killed that lady. Yay! <laughs> Get the air, you gotta throw that chair. <laughs> those just those two were just minding their own business. They're but they're zombies. Talking. They're zombies though. Mm. Oh, Ori- Orion Sirius. Thanks for subscribing. We super appreciate it. Are you guys doing the Wikipedia thing again? Cut that out! Where am I supposed to go? What? Where no. am I sp- Down here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cut it out, you guys. You just, okay, cut. Um, Jack, I have a question about keeping my hair. Can you help me with that? Nope. <laughs> nope. Nature took most of it. I took the rest. Best decision you ever made? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Now, now that I've done it, I, I really enjoy it. Holy fuck. And having conversations with other men who also shave their head, it's, it's always the same. Everyone everyone loves it once they do it. How does, how does the wife feel about that? My head? Yeah. Yeah, she's okay with it. She thinks it looks significantly better than, like, the, the crown. Yeah. If you look back at those first couple of uh, Best of the Worst episodes I'm in, that, that looked terrible. I do. I Whoa! Like sparkle up. hunting. What? Five zombies? If you could go back in time, would you shave Oh, there's it more? Sooner? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely would have shaved it sooner. Suitor. Suitor? Suitor? Yep. Oh, uh, Fadu, if you have a question about FTL, Rich is here. He'll answer it. <laughs> What's, what's the FDL question? I don't know, but they're saying with no hair, Jack looks like he has cancel. <laughs> yeah, Lost in Technicolor. It looks like James Gunn just wrote a hot girl runs around with a chainsaw. Yeah, that's kind of all this is. <laughs> yeah. Which, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's, you know... Want me to play so I can get you to the James Gunn stuff quicker? No, <laughs> I already don't care anymore. Oh. Ooh, that's a good question. Does the actor who plays Rich Evans remain in character even when you're not recording? <laughs> <laughs> yes. He does. He, he commits. That's not even his real name. That's just his stage name. Okay, the FTL question is, Rich, in FTL, are uh, are there any quests you do not accept? I, I, I don't know if there's any really a good reason not to. Mm-hmm. You can accept them. You don't necessarily have to complete it. Why, why would you skip a quest? Yeah. Oh, wait. Are they talking about just events, not quests that you won't 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 even bother with, like like the know. the giant spiders one? Because uh, that I won't even touch the template pole. Well, yeah, you don't want to. Do you don't want to do that. Well, fuckbot two thousand. Red letter media says you're welcome. He, he fuckbot2000 wanted to thank Red Letter Media for all the entertainment that thank we gave him. Thank you. I'm use a lollipop check. You're welcome. How do I do that? He accidentally almost did it 17 times, so... I'm just pushing buttons. You, you need to find that button to push. What is the button I push, Rich? I know to get out of it, I push the circle, but I can't get to it with the circle. What happens when you press circle? I jump. Okay. How about triangle? 
I'm a tribal. These don't how do about, anything that get me to that. I pushed all those buttons. The shoulders. Put at the same time. The shoulder button. How about the select button? Oh, fuck this. I hate this. Oh. See, that's not it. This isn't it. <laughs> Video games are stupid. <laughs> I'll stick to Octodad. Octodad was fun for a while. Octodad was fun. Rich's idea of helping me is to just take the controller and play the game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. This is Rich playing now. Oh. Here you go, Jeff. Why are these guys tougher? So zombies just are. Because they're, well, look, they have special suits. They're suit zombies. So maybe her chainsaw can't cut through the, sh the suits. <laughs> I, I, my, my mouth stopped working for a second. Whoa. Yeah, fuck that guy. That was a good job. <laughs> Make him explode. Light. Oh. No, don't hurt Jerry. He's got him. Three. No, not Jerry. He was my favorite. Oh. Ring the doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Morin3. Thank you for subscribing. Well, the headphones on now. There's some, some talky stuff. Jack has the headphones. Oh, my God. Here it is, Jay. Trying to kill Teen Wolf. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no. Cut his arm off. Of course. Oh, it's in the bloodstream, I guess. Or... No, you got. You can do it. You, it's still, you can still do it. The sound is totally out of sync well, in this it's headphones. because of the capture thing. Oh, okay. You can look at the capture thing. What, uh, what's the thing to it? I can see some James Gunn in this. She cut off his head? Yeah. Why not the arm? Oh, that's fun. Why not the arm? Because she knew she had to kill him. No, she's trying to save him. Didn't she say there's start? something we can you, do to... You don't have to play through it, but start the next level. Okay. We put the headphones back on. Do I go to the high, high school, school now? Yeah. Um, yes. Okay, okay. Oh, that's a good question. They want to know, Rich, uh, if you're wearing panties. No. 
No, I am not. If you want me, if you want to hear me say that, rewatch the fucking review. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be a severed head, isn't he? I feel a little bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just ahead? Yeah. <laughs> He's got a little... I like the excessive swearing. Yeah. He's got a little tie. Yeah, I know! <laughs> and she wears him on <laughs> yes <laughs> okay all right uh, all right <laughs> oh fuck hey you found the lollipop button i'm not no on accident i have no idea what i hit to do that <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> i gotta take those headphones off they're driving yeah. me nuts they're driving me bonkers oh oh Okay, now I figured it out. You figured out the lollipop button? Yeah. That's great. Whoa. So you wear your boyfriend's severed head around with you. For the whole game. He does some special things. Sure. Oh, yeah. Like, That's... she can swing him around sometimes. Oh, sure. That's fun. That's fun. Oh, you get, you, you win this round, game. <laughs> cutscene. <laughs> you win this round, cutscene. I enjoy the cutscenes. I don't enjoy the game. <laughs> It's the exact opposite of usual. <laughs> so if they just made a little movie going from cutscene to cutscene with a little bit of slashing, you would, you would find this a, an acceptable movie? Yes. Hey, get that lollipop. I think I will. Yeah. Yep. Shackma, the video game? Mm. Yep, it's Gibbons. James Gunn uses that name and everything. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know if it's like someone he knows or what, but that name shows up and everything. Yes, this is a Suda 51 game. Suda 51 game written by James Gunn. Mark Gunn. What? Oh, What'd you do? You clicked on the power up then. <sighs> oh, you win a head power up. What does that mean? How do I do these things when I'm just hitting the same buttons over and over? What? Oh. You shake them and coins come out. What do you need? How do I shake them? Oh, there we go. What? Yeah. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want your coins to come out? So you can buy new moves. Oh. I can't figure out how to do the basic moves. Why do I need new ones? <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> Oh, god damn it. More of these zombies? You're right, I ate donuts. Jay, there's only ten buttons on this controller. You need to get it. <laughs> I can handle uh, two <laughs> buttons maximum. That's the extent of my... <laughs> I know how to jump, and I know what one does the chainsaw. 
and like combos or anything like that are completely a foreign concept to me, so. Okay. Hey, Rich, can you turn down the TV slightly? They're complaining of a slight echo. Okay. We have the, we, we are listening to it on the TV, which is why you hear the slight echo. So, that we should have fixed that problem now. The new Suda 51 game already came out, right? It was like... Killer is dead? Killer is dead. That's that's the one that got him some flack. What flack did he get for that? I don't remember. I don't pay attention to things. <laughs> but I remember flack. Oh, wait, are we talking about flack cannons again? Yeah, he got a flack cannon. Okay. And it, it worked out really well for him. So... Would you just rather be a zombie or a person that had to fight all the zombies? <laughs> I'd rather be a person that has to fight all the zombies. Yeah. Would you? Yeah, because uh, I'd still have a chance. Yeah, but... If you're a zombie, you're fucked. And you get to smash shit. But you're, but you're, but you're only cool. one person. How long could you last? Do I, have I don't know. Off? That's that's the fascinating thing is the best the good zombie movies is the survival aspect to it. Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh no. You failed again. I did. Yeah, like yeah I died. You didn't save that guy. Ah, fuck him. <laughs> well, now you slipped. You're strong. You hit him with the head. Are people are people watching this frustrated that I'm not doing anything significant as far as like combo moves or whatever you're supposed no. to be doing in these games? <laughs> no. No, you know, mostly it was talking about the game echoing and we're having some internet issues, so the game's stuttering a little oh. bit. So they're just they're just making fun of all the technical things. And, okay. and asking dumb questions that I'm not gonna even bring up. So <laughs> like, there are any good questions? No, not right now. <laughs> Absolutely not. Now, if there's a good question, I'll, I'll ask it. Yeah, I hacked off this guy's legs. And then I stabbed him. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, if you were fighting zombies... This is my own question. Okay. If you guys were fighting zombies, mm -hmm. what weapon would be your choice weapon? Uh, a range weapon? <clears throat> like a gun? Yeah. Was the zombie still here? It might just bring more of them to you. No, okay, silent range weapon. Like what? a crossbow? I would use, is there such thing as a silencer for a turret? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'd use that. What a, you, know, you know what would be a decent weapon? Crowbar. Crowbar? Yeah. That's a very close range weapon. Yeah. yeah. You, you Ideally, you don't get into close range. You yeah. just stay away from them as much as you can. But if you had to... Yeah. It's like a baseball bat. Something yeah, that's the same baseball bat. Well, yeah. Can you can you effectively though just destroy somebody's fucking head with a with a baseball bat yes. as compared to a crowbar? Oh yeah, you can oh, you can easy. do some damage with a baseball bat. What would you pick, Jack? Are we assuming that we can use this weapon well? Yes, just assume that you can. Maybe become proficient. I would uh, samurai sword. Ooh, samurai oh, sword. that's pretty good. <clears throat> I would choose a slingshot. Slingshot. Oh, oh fuck you! That's <laughs> dumb. Here's here's my reasoning. With the slingshot. It's dumb reasoning. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're gonna say is dumb. Wait wait wait. <laughs> if you have a slingshot, you will never run out of ammo. Except for the rocks. If you have a baseball bat, you'll never run out of ammo. Well, but but it's also a slingshot is a ranged weapon. Yeah. But it's not. A, it, it, it has the potential to do no damage whatsoever, or it, minimal damage. Unless you're like an expert. Well, that's why my question. If, like a, 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 a more than a kitty slingshot. Well, you know, make, I'm talking about make, like a real slingshot. You know, this is okay because when the zombies come, Jack, you can take the slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll take the crowbar and the samurai yeah. sword and the crossbow. But you get the slingshot. Okay, great. The baseball bat is the most effective. Yeah, I think so. Sword even, because a sword has the potential you... of getting stuck. Okay, okay. In, in yeah, a, a baseball bat, all you have to do is bludgeon one. their brain and then they're dumb you, you want to just go for the neck of the sword, I think. Just, just well, a clean sure, beat. But you're not always going to hit it. And you're going to get, you could slightly miss it, get it stuck in, in, in a zombie. Mm. If you have a blunt object, it's going to bounce off. And you go for the brutal impact. Yeah, fuck you, Fitzgibbon. <laughs> you a want light, a lightsaber would be the best. That's probably true. Yeah.
Oh my god, they're calling me a hipster for the slingshot. <laughs> uh, a lightsaber would obviously... I'm not going to call you a hipster, I'm just going to call you a bad survivalist. How many cans of beans and stuff would you have, though? Uh, all the beans, I have all the beans. <laughs> what about, uh, would you have canned fruits, like peaches and stuff? Maybe. <laughs> this, is, this is all I'm saying, is... I could, with a slingshot, I could silently take out hey. zombies from a distance. Go out the goddamn window, or, idiot. There you go. You know? I guess, it, yeah, it depends on how good you are, how uh, uh, effective of a slingshot it is, and what the, what the projectile. I want an axe and a ladder. And I'm not even going to use the axe on the zombies. I'm going to use the axe on a staircase, and I'm going to camp out the second floor of a house. And I'm going to pull the ladder up behind me after I get in. All right. What are you yeah, but then what are you going to do? Call but Jack then... and ask him for some of his beans? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is assuming you have to move from location to location. Yeah, okay. What is this thing? Oh, my Lord. Oh, that's, oh, that's his body. That's funny. Yeah, no, like, you know, you don't slingshot bullets, you know, like, obviously you try to get the, like, ball bearings, Those that'd be the best, right? If you're a good shot, or else you just pick up some fucking nuts and bolts and rocks. I guess, yeah. And, and mildly annoy the zombies. No, no, like, have you seen real slingshotters? They fuck shit up. I, I guess I haven't, so... There, there is a YouTube channel called The Slingshot Channel. Oh, wait, what am I doing? In which a guy makes... I stopped paying attention to the game, and I think I killed my boyfriend. Oh, no! Oops. <laughs> I guess if you could break a skull with a slingshot yeah. projectile, then it would be, I, I guess, and I, the logic. You can I'm destroy a skull with a baseball bat. I'm though. assuming you can break through the skull with a, with a pebble. With a slingshot. I, would, I, don't, I think you guys are overconfident in your, the baseball bat's ability to break a skull. Yeah? I would, I would make a silencer for a turret. <laughs> and I would use that. And then after I was done, I would use a, a flamethrower and just light all of them on fire afterwards. See, I'm, I'm thinking of longevity with the baseball bat. See, yeah. The crowbar. I think I think you have a better chance of just caving in someone's skull. Yeah. Plus, you can use the Jimmy open doors. And see, mm, that's true. The crowbar is a good idea, but even something like a hammer or like a small, like you know, like those ice climber yeah. picks. You know, something yeah. where you can definitely. Pick might get stuck in the head. Pick might get stuck in the head. But you it need that. Yeah. You need that penetration, you. A regular hammer would probably be the best. It's very close range, but mm-hmm. unlike a baseball bat, you wouldn't get too tired swinging it. Oh, that's true. Baseball bat it would tire you out constantly having to swing and hit. Yeah. Things. Well, it it all depends on the environment you're in too. Like if you're out in the country where they're more spread out and there's less of them, yeah. sure. then you know you can We're survive going to for a while with a baseball close bat. Close range fighting. Yeah. With numerous zombies. Okay. In yeah. Oh sure. Well, and I think I think you need some sort of melee weapon and a ranged weapon option. And guns, you're gonna run out of bullets. Always do. Mm-hmm. And so maybe that's the thing. You get to choose one ranged and one. That's why I picked the two I picked. <laughs> Of course, you also have to defend yourself from other people. Yeah. Yes. Which, in the Romero zombie movies, those are the bigger threats. Yes. (laughs) They're having fucking pie fights with the zombies in Dawn of the Dead. They're not the problem. We should we should play Dead Rising here one of these days. Yeah. That's a zombie game where all of the like the boss encounters are just other people who've kind of gone a little bit. A little bit nutty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Ooh, by the way, we are forgetting, like, a shovel. Not not like a like a spade, but like, you know, like military shovels. Mm. You know, they, like, fold up and are also, like, axes and chopping tools. Okay, for prying okay. Tools. Like, have you seen that YouTube video of, like, of the, the Chinese army's combat shovels? No. Where they can use them in 40 different ways? Oh. Hmm. Shovel. That's a good, that's a good thought. A World War One trench knife. Um, sure. Yeah. Whoa! Get off me, dude. Get off me, sweater vest. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was that? Oh, uh, nothing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. No, 
it's good. Just, it's one of those days. <laughs> oh, nothing. I don't know. My YouTube hit. My YouTube history is probably all Taylor Swift videos. I wouldn't say that out loud. Mm -hmm. uh, Taylor Swift and Nicki Minaj. Yep. Right. All Taylor Swift and Nicki Minaj. Pickaxe is good, but it would be scary to get that close. And a, and pickaxe is a two-handed weapon, and I would I would not want a two-handed weapon in a zombie oh. fight. Say, by the way, that kind of goes against the samurai sword then, because that's a two-handed weapon, right? Yeah. If used correctly, I guess. And so it's like I think you need that. You need a one-handed weapon and then one for you need a shield. Oh fuck! There's another one. You, <laughs> you know what you need? What? A shark suit. <laughs> what? what? A shark suit. A bear suit. Or a bear, well, that's probably more cumbersome than a shark suit. Mm -hmm. A shark suit basically is almost like chain mail. It's what the diver would use when... Oh, okay. I think you meant like dressing up in the costume no, of a shark. No, no. I meant a shark-proof swimming suit. Okay. Sure. That makes sense. Ooh, yeah, that's chain, amazing. Chain mail armor. Yeah. Uh, they'll prevent bites. Yeah, something like that. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, a suit of armor. But like medieval times, all over again. <laughs> yeah, like Kevlar armor. So you're just preventing against a human fight. Yeah. Yeah. Not that, not that tough. Ooh, that's right. The best weapon against a zombie is a roof. Get yeah. up on that roof. Here. Get up on them roofs. Yep. If you just destroy the staircase and get on the second floor, the problem is that you still is, have a roof over your head. The problem with that though is then you're stuck there basically. That's why you get a ladder. <laughs> you need to get down. <laughs> Wait, you, you get, get your ladder. Step ladder. A step ladder. That's not tall enough. No. Yeah. What if you had three of them? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> but then by the time you stack the step ladders to get back up into your second room, <laughs> you've been eaten by the zombies. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You can't stack these step ladders fast enough! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you're right, Beyond Infinite. Uh, can we discuss the more prevalent threat of mummies? <laughs> <laughs> mummies are dumb assholes. There's nothing, there's nothing scary about mummies. What's the big difference between a mummy and a zombie, Jay? Mummies don't try to eat you. They are just reanimated bodies wrapped up in gauze, basically. They lumber around. They're slow. They're stupid. Mummies are that kid in junior high that you steal the glass his glasses and throw them over his head to your friend, and you just throw them back and forth. Why would you forth. do that? It's strange. Jay, you gotta, you gotta hype up the mummy. Yeah, wait. <laughs> mummy. What about Bite of the Mummy? You're, you're, you're gonna kill Salem. No, well, well we Bite of the Mummy is gonna movie. revolutionize uh, mummies. It's gonna change how people think of mummies. Were you, uh... <laughs> I was I was a mummy bully in high school. <laughs> Jay, you're an anti mummite I am. I absolutely am. Mummies are um, the worst monster. Were, no, but were you a bully in middle school? Did I was not that? a bully. Sounds like. But I no no no. I didn't do these things. Would you but take Jack's glasses and throw them? Over I would not. I'm just saying that mummies like that's the kind of uh, if there was a mummy in my junior high, he would be the kid that would get picked on the most. <laughs> No how man. do you know? What if he was really Yeah, no, you would be cool. scared of a wolf man. Mm -hmm. You would not mummy, be scared of a mummy. What if this mummy was really cool? Like, Mummies aren't was, cool though. With sunglasses and a yeah, what if you the most that's, popular. If kid. we're talking about we're talking about traditional mummies here, not some sort of weird like cool version of a mummy, because those don't exist. <laughs> mummies, by their very nature, what about, are lame. What about the Scorpion King, Jay? The what? About the, what? The, 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 I don't know the new mummy movies they made with the rock and whatnot. New? You're talking about ten year old movies? They're new to me because I'm an old man. <laughs> <laughs> Jay does bully Jack at the studio. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Every day. I've stolen his glasses three times today. I wish you. Yeah. Would okay. That. See, these people agree with me. Bubba Hotep. Jack He's just cool. keeps the wedgie. He doesn't even bother. And but but Bubba Hotep, the only people that he can pick on are the elderly, though. <laughs> he cannot defend himself against uh, a younger person. <laughs> I like that movie, yeah. but he he just preys on old people because he's he's weak because he's a dumb mummy. Yeah, Jay's just being specious. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How's that specious? 
mummy is human, really. That's true. A mummy is a human. Just, it was a reference. Mummies are kind of different species. Okay. I'm leaving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they all heard that. What is the best universal monster? Um... Frankenstein's. <laughs> all, all the Frankensteins? Frankenstein's monster is the best universal monster. Okay. You said Frankenstein's Frankenstein's like, plural, but... mo- No, si- Franken apostrophe S Steins. And that's that's the most interesting because he's sort of a tragic figure. Yeah. I never cared much for Dracula. Dracula and and mummies are the worst. We've already <laughs> we've already discussed that. <laughs> Are kind of cool. Va- vampires can be cool, but there's so many different like iterations of them. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite? Uh, as far as vampires go, yeah. hurry because I'm leaving. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm I don't like the the romantic uh, gothic. gothic gothic vampires. Yeah. I like something like I've not seen uh, uh, near dark, but I like the sort of gritty like I like from Dustal Dawn. You will love I near like dark. John Carpenter's vampires like those sort of just like gritty brutal. You will fucking love. Near dark. Okay, yeah, I need to watch yeah. that. You know what? Let's watch it. What are you guys doing tomorrow? <laughs> I don't um, know. Do you do you own it, Rich, or no? I think I have the Blu-ray. Oh, somewhere. do you? Oh, really? really? Okay, well, shit. What the fuck? Do you watch it? Ooh, by the way, good. The Invisible Man. Oh. Ooh, you know what? They need a proper Invisible Man remake. Which one is the scariest? Um, oh, fuck! What are in, they doing? in the movie, the Invisible Man like turns into a giant asshole and oh. derails trains and shit. I keep dying here because I'm not paying attention. You don't, know, we're talking you, about... don't, you don't know the controller layout well, though. No, I, do, I have to look down to yeah, see what button to hit. I know. So that that fucks it up too. <laughs> this are we are we done with this then? I think I'm, I'm done with this game. Assuming you don't want to play that stage again. No, <laughs> you can play games. <laughs> you can go on YouTube and watch the videos. I do love the cutscenes; are great. Okay, maybe I'll do that because I don't care about the gameplay. You can play this or put it in a different game if you want. I, we, it's been a long couple days. <laughs> yeah. We're calling it? I think so. Sure. Right. Okay. Hey guys, we're calling it. Okay, bye. bye. It's only because I'm leaving. <laughs> yep. Everyone else is bored. It's, it's because Jesse will no longer be here, so our lives will cease to exist <laughs> when oh, she is not around oh, us. That's not true. It's fair. I mean, I've gotten, I've gotten like five hours of sleep in the last. 50 hours, so... (laughs) (laughs) Getting up at 10 a.m. Getting up at the crack of 10. (laughs) (laughs) Please. I am... Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know. Feel your pain. Oh, we're we're calling it. (laughs) They heard you. You said that right into the microphone. (laughs) They can hear you. I, I couldn't even hear you, but you were right next to the microphone. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we'll see if they can hear what you said. I didn't hear a word of that. <laughs> Nobody heard me. Huh? Nobody heard what did she say? What? What did she say? <laughs> we'll see if she says. I know. Oh, wow. All right. Good, hey, good night, everybody. We're all going to leave now. Thanks for coming out. We super appreciate it. Uh, Say goodbye, Rich. Goodbye, stream. I should have done the Gracie Allen. Goodbye, Rich. That's what I was expecting. That's how tired he is. He didn't get the joke.